going to be an intimate reading and I promised you guys I would do one for this weekend. It's a little late right now in Hawaii. It's like 6.30 something. So the lighting is very different. Hopefully it's not too dark because I don't want to turn on this light over here because then it's blinding in the camera and shit and it's just too much. Okay guys, so this is a disclaimer, right? That we are going to be using the intimate deck which contains sexual images on here. Um, if you are underage or if you are a person that doesn't like to see sexual images, shit, I don't know who the hell don't want to see sexual images because I know I just cannot wait. But that's just me. But if you don't like to see sexual images, then click the fuck off now, please. Or if you're not of age. Let me just make sure all of these cards are upright because I don't read reversals unless they come out that way. But these cards fell over as they always do, I'm trying to get my attention on. I just want to make sure they're all in place. All right, appears that they are. So let's get started. Reminder, this is general. This will not resonate with every single person, okay? Fuck, my shirt just came undone. <laughs> so, so it's a shit show sometimes here. I'm sorry. I have to because otherwise it's going to be wrinkly. I got to retie it or it'll be wrinkly when I'm channeling and it's going to be a distraction. You guys know how it works. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> it's free 99. You got to just deal shit. Okay. But watch all the motherfuckers that still going to unlike it. They're going to thumbs down it. God only knows why. But oh well. All right, guys, here we go. Let's just get started with this, okay? So again, this is general. This may not resonate with everyone. We have that new moon coming up in a couple of days. Ah! The four of wands. I'm sorry, I have to hold it at an angle because of the light. Well, 1111, new beginnings. Two people fusing into one. Clearly, he's getting it in. This is also marriage and commitment, though. <laughs> this fucking hair right here. It's, um, it's marriage or commitment. God, it, it's like they fit perfectly, too. Very, very odd, right? It's an odd thing to say, but if it's you, I mean, shit, if the shoe fit, honey, but in this case, if the dangling fit, okay? I mean, if the dangling fit, then ride it, okay? <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say about that. Um, in Gemini season, well, I don't know, there may be encounters that could lead to this person becoming dun, 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 the one. I mean, he's a perfect fit. I'm not going to say I can feel it, because ah, I can't, but I know. Two of Wands. And there are those very big decisions to make, life-changing discussions. Very life-changing. Two of Wands is like, you know, having, being at a fork in the road and having to decide. Really, it's two people, two Wands coming together. To create a four of wands. I told you it's two people fusing into one. Two becoming one. <sighs> you know that one song that's, I think it's called, I think the song is called Animal by Nine Inch Nails. Isn't it called Animal? I wanna fuck you, blah, blah, blah. I can hear it playing in my head. What, a friend of mine recently channeled that too. She could hear it and I was like, oh my God, I love the fucking song. But every time I channel, I can't remember the words of songs for some odd reason. As soon as I end this, I can sing every fucking word, but I, I don't know, I can't, I can only hear it. I wanna fuck you, da, da, da. So it's like this song. <laughs> I mean, if there's any song that will get a person moist, and that will do it. This, I, I don't know, you guys might fuck to it. It feels like you guys haven't met yet, though. Because I was about to say something else, and then they went, oh, they didn't fuck yet. So if you did meet, you guys didn't fuck yet. 
that's what it feels like if this is a new person right or or if it's a new person you haven't met yet put it this way if this is somebody that's coming back from your past you haven't fucked them in a long time because it has this feeling of like you didn't fuck i wanna fuck you okay i'll stop but they're singing it to me king of chalices they're in love look at him he's petting her he's so fucking in love he's adorning her this dude, though, may not show it. Okay, doesn't have to be a water sign, but could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But this particular person right here, they don't show their emotions no matter what sign that they are. Right? So put it this way. They are just a person. Could be male or female, but it feels like a masculine male. They in love. Head over heels. Excuse me. I, I said, oh, they're in love, and I could feel it was like, no, 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 no. They're head over heels in love it's like everything this person does makes your thing throb it does it makes your thing throb you walk in a room their, their thing would throb they smell you their thing would throb if you guys the second you guys meet their thing throbs if they watch you their thing throbs they're in love though it's not just sexual this person is in love, but they may not know what it is in the beginning. In the in the beginning, I feel like they go, what the fuck is this? Am I sick? Why is my heart? I think I'm having a heart attack. Am I dying? What is this? What do I feel? Am I, am I getting sick? I think my stomach hurts. Hold on now, because I don't know if my motherfucking counterpart is watching. And last time I bent over disgustingly. You ain't gonna catch me slipping, motherfucker. <sighs> Knave of swords. Yep, they're spying. I told you they're watching. I told you that every little thing you do makes their thing throb. Therefore, they're addicted. Look at that. Knave of swords is the page of swords. Watching. It looks like he'd be watching that ass crack, though. Which means he's all up in your buns. Which means he's all up in your grill, aka your cheeks. Some of you, it's literal, but remember, I, I felt like you guys weren't having sex yet, or it was, I don't know, too new or something. Or it's so old, it's not relevant anymore. They're watching, though. They can't not watch. They can't not look. Like, let's say, let's say they don't want to. They go, fuck this. I'm not, I'm not going to watch this shit. I'm not going to go drive over there. I'm not going to go to Starbucks for the seventh time this week. I'm not going to keep ordering food from there. I'm not going to keep watching her on YouTube. They cannot help it. It's like they have to. I have to watch. I'm addicted. Man, I told you they're watching. Look at that. The fucking Queen of Wands. Look at him. He's watching her because she's seductive. Because he's enamored. Because every little thing she does turns him on. She's just putting on or taking off her boot. And he's salivating. Of course, it's the way she's doing it. I mean, bitch, you may as well just spread your legs while oh, taking off your boot, but shit. I mean, he's enamored by it. Every little fucking thing. He's just like, oh, fuck, is she taking off her boot? Oh, look at the way she take off her boot. You see how she's skinny, big ass titties, whatever? That's just the way they see you meaning you may not physically look like this right or physically be their type but they look at you like that like you sexy as fuck you sexy motherfucker like prince said okay they're they're just they're head over heels i can like feel it that's why i can feel it they're watching you too they're watching Maybe for some of you, because they know you, they're keeping tabs. But for uh, for the majority, it's like they're watching you because it's like you're just... Oh, my flat, my favorite card. <gasps> What's a chariot? Oh, Ten of Wands. This is my card right here where they're just like fucking in the bushes because they can't wait. But Ten of Wands traditionally is putting all the burdens down. Meaning carrying the weight of the burden of not saying anything is what I feel. Because remember, King of Cups don't say nothing. He keeps it to himself. So I feel like the burden of that's too much. And also I feel like the burden of not being able to stick it in. Because watch when he sticks it in, it's going to be the perfect fit. 
I don't know what that means, but I assume it means it fits perfectly in your nanny. Or wherever it's gonna go. The chariot could be Cancerian energy, right? But the chariot is forward progress and movement. He wants to take you. He wants to claim you. And when I mean take you, I mean... <laughs> I did two fingers because... Actually, I don't know why I did two fingers. Maybe because it's bigger? I don't know. Okay. Um, he wants to take you. I want to take you on a little ride and tell you how I feel inside. There's a, a local song here in Hawaii. It's called Take You For a Ride. Take you for a little ride. He wanna, he, you, he want you to ride him, though. This is victory and success. If you have other suitors that are contending for you, if there are other motherfuckers in this race, he gonna win the race. Oh, I can feel it. He gonna win the race. Feels fairy tale too. I just saw the words that's why in my head fairy tale. It feels fairy tale. Queen of chalices. Its counterparts, they're in love. Look at her. She's like holding him in her bosoms, being his peace while he's over here petting her head. They're both in love. They both have feelings for each other. They're both in love. <sighs> There's a but, though. He hasn't come forward yet, so she doesn't know. That's the but. I think she has a feeling because Queen of Cups would be intuitive. She's a feeling it's him. He's a feeling it's her, but it hasn't been declared or said yet. It hasn't been publicly acknowledged. So like they didn't say it to the person yet. That's what I feel. I mean, it's their person though. And I feel like they feel that. They, they feel like, ah, this ain't like nobody else. This is different. It's cause it is different. These two people are gonna move in together too. Four of Wands. The two people fusing together, but they're gonna move in together. Six of Wands, I told you they're watching you. Six of Wands is victory and success, but it's also public eye. See how this dude's reaching out, he's like wants to touch her? I'm telling you, they're watching you. You even have the Page of Swords. They're fucking watching you. Queen of Wands in here, he's watching her. They're watching you. That's like, come I gotta bend. <laughs> That's come I gotta keep checking to make sure I ain't got no fucking muffin top right now. Because, shit, I don't know if he'd be watching. He probably is. It says it in the cards, my boo. So I gotta make sure. <laughs> I feel fat right now. I have my period. That's why I know it's TMI, but. So I'm drinking a fucking Jamba Juice. Other than that, I don't crave fruits. I don't crave fruits. You wanna know what I crave? I always say this. People go, oh, what do you crave? I crave motherfucking cigarettes and dangling. But I'm sitting here drinking an orange dream. But I don't crave any dangalang. That's a come I'm celibate. I've been celibate since, I don't know, last year, right? Because I don't have sexual intercourse unless I'm in love and in a relationship, Bobo. Six of Wands, it's just you on public display. So you're in the public eye or they are? And they're watching you too. And it doesn't have to be two famous people or two people. But let's say you're in the public eye, meaning you work at Starbucks. And he go in there all the time and watch you over there at Starbucks. Because you know you're kind of on display. You're like, hi, what can I get for you? Right? Or you bet you on YouTube. Or you're on TV. Or you're performing. Every breath you take. I don't mind a motherfucker watching me if it's the motherfucker I want. But if it's somebody I don't want, what you looking at? You that's how that's how I am. That's just that's just me. Strength taming the beast. The beast has fallen. Fallen in love. Remember my Emperor's Fallen video? Everybody's re-watching it. Why? Because, well, they're feeling the need to go and rewatch it. And also because it's popping up in their suggestions again. Emperor's Fallen video that I did. 
the beast has fallen yeah it could be leo energy too but it feels like the beast has fallen fallen in love you know some things get better with age but my singing voice is not one of them um oh the beast has fallen they're beasts though <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know if they're beastly because it's the way they look. They're big and muscular. I don't know. Or it's because they are kind of cold and rude and emotionless or something. Something about them is, they are, put it this way, they're not known as the most fluffiest motherfucker for whatever reasons. Whether this is their reputation, whether this is because it's their personality, I don't know. But whatever this is, they're not known as being super fluffy they're just they're not this is the beast though the beast has fallen like beauty and the beast it was true love knave of wands with the five of swords oh the beast in the past used to only what it basically looked like he only liked to fuck meaning exactly as i said earlier emotionally detached see Five of Swords, eh, mind games, manipulation, I'm not very into it. Meh. Look at his face, he's like, mm -hmm, I'm just going to stick it. I'm going to hit it and quit it. And then, you know, the Knave of Wands, here's the Page of Wands, so sexual energy. Page of Wands can't be seen as that, just it's a spark. Physical, though, it's physical, it's chemistry. He only used to fuck. And if he did have a serious relationship, he went bad in love with her. There was no emotional connection. This King of Cups right here, this King of Chalices, this would be the first time he's ever felt real, true, blue love. Not karmic, not toxic, not abusive, codependent. No, this is real, true, blue love. Ay, 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 ay. The fucking Ace of Swords. It's communication. Communication's coming in. Not only that, I feel like it's, they're gonna communicate it because you see let me look at him he's like i'm fucking dead if remember i said the beast has fallen look at him he's like just take me i'm yours i just i can't do it anymore i'm just i can't i can't fucking pretend i love you it's that feeling of like i love you and I don't know why I love you because I don't even know you. It's like being in love with a stranger. All of the things I've channeled these past few months is coming back up again. It's just coming back up again. We're hitting June. <sighs> June and July. It's going to be spicy. We're heading up into eclipse season ending already. Um, Eclipse season ends next month in July. So it's basically like this wrap up. The nine of chalices, nine of cups. Both of you fulfill each other's wish list, basically. And the biggest thing here is that I feel like you or them, maybe both of you, don't even realize that you're everything that you would have ever wanted in each other because, like I said earlier, it's you may not be each other's usual type. I keep seeing Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels card. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. I, I just feel like it caught you off guard. Like, let's say, for example, you don't like people with dark hair. You always go for, like, blondes. But then you fall in love with me kidding Ooh, the haters hate when i talk like that you see what i'm saying or like you know you usually don't like blondes you like brunettes and then you fall in love with a blonde fuck i don't know they they fulfill everything on your wish list even everything you didn't even know you wanted that's what i feel like i feel like you you didn't know i didn't know i wasn't ready it's very kevin hart <laughs> it's very fucking kevin hart i wasn't ready Oh, I can you sit on his thing. He, he, he ain't ready for that either. I can assure you. Because it's the perfect fit. It's, it just is. I'm sorry, but it is. The perfect fit. So I, I'm going to name it that. And I, no, I don't know. Oh, I might. Depends what they channel to me. That's how I, I name my um, title. You know, the titles of my videos. I name it for whatever they channel to me. Okay. The High Priestess. Something's hidden. It's elusive. You're hidden. It's like they can't get. Into, they can't get you. It's elusive, like a bigfoot motherfucker, like a like a like a like a mermaid, bitch. It's like a it's like a fucking Loch Ness monster. Elusive. They can't get you. Whether it's because you won't let them, 
Maybe it's like you guys have been doing this thing where he's like, let me take you out. You'd be all, no. He'd be like, okay. But then now he's obsessed and can't get it out of his head. Or he hasn't even approached yet at all. But then because he don't know you and it's not like you're, you're not easily accessible. That's the point of this, okay? And then we have the seven of chalices, which is the seven of cups and the nine of wands. So somebody's not sure if this is just all in their head. Because the seven of chalices could be illusions, right? Confusion. And then the nine of wands is wounded warrior. So shit from the past. So this person's not sure if what they're feeling is really it or am I feeling what I used to feel in the past? Because in the past, it was just, I'm sexually attracted. They, this is what it is. They cannot figure out if they're just sexually attracted to you or if, if this is love. That's what it got this feeling of. Like, I don't know if I, I don't know if this is love or I just, I'm like so i just want to eat her alive then it, i don't know if i just want to lick on his hang you know like it's just but it's love at least this group of whatever i'm people i'm channeling it's this is it not everyone's gonna meet the person in the next couple of weeks to the next couple of months but this is it the perfect fit I channeled that before too. You guys remember the perfect fit? Six of swords. <gasps> Hold on. This, let me start with the six of swords. So we're, let's see, this is all where they're oofing on the ground, right? They're grounding all right. Now he grounding his thing in her. Um, six of swords though is <laughs> traditionally moving on, moving forward, calmer grounds, calmer waters, okay? This person brings you extreme peace. That's why they feel different because the other people in your past, I don't feel like brought you peace. I feel like they brought you chaos. That's how you know. And then we have here the star, the magician, and the knave of chalices. The knave of chalices, look at this. This would be the page of cups, right? Look at him. He wants to write to her. He wants to tell her, but everything he writes is not the right words. He doesn't know what to say. How do I tell her? How do I say it? What do I say? I don't know what to say because I don't even know what I feel. This person's super fucking frustrated. I don't know how to communicate this. Some of you, they may communicate it in a song. Or a poem. They may not verbalize it to you and go, hey, what's up? Blah, blah, blah. They, it may be something else. They may drop you a fucking line. They may send you an email or a letter or some shit, honey. It might be something like that. I don't know. A motherfucker write a song about me or write me a poem like that? I would, I don't know. I would just, like, faint. So she feels good. Unless it was, like, roses I red. Well, even that, well, it would be adorable. Who am I fucking joking? Because I would fucking faint if it's the, do you love me, circle, yes or no? I'm a fucking hardcore Aquarius with a Capricorn moon, so I'm a, a fucking cold emotional you know emotional emotionally detached kind of a person but little cute shit like that i go <sighs> roses are red violets are blue i love you hold on i can't I, you can tell i'm not I, can, I can't even be a rapper either now when i'm channeling when i'm not channeling i might be able to go up against the best of them because i have a very witty mouth and good comebacks but now when i'm channeling when i'm channeling like, you know this one needs to focus i can't roses are red violets are blue my thing is big i want it inside you <laughs> i know you may not use those bars eminem okay so <laughs> you have your the name of chalice is right he's freaking out he's like i don't know what to say there, boo say that go tell her that um you don't know what to say and it's hidden emotions too. see the full moon in the background here and there's people under that full moon too right he's like imagining it too he's like he's like going fucking crazy thinking that you're banging other people they're jealous as jealousy i'm telling you it's jealousy i can feel it because it's unknown remember i told you you're elusive you're unknown and then the star and the magician I wished for you too. I just posted that quote on my Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And as you guys know, it's a quote from Practical Magic. I wished for you too. Ah, oh, maybe that should be the title. I gotta fill it out. The magician, a powerful person. The stars, the prophet, the oracle. This 
it has been written in the stars, this union of two people. It's destiny. It's destined to happen regardless. Of, and, and it's true love. This is the angel. Or there are actually angels, excuse me, that have been guiding these two souls together. And now it, it's this act of taking a leap of faith. They have to come forward. They have to. It's that it's that thing for them. It's like you have tests. That's their test for many is to get over the fear of rejection. Because I'm telling you, the seven of chalices, they feel like, I don't know if they really do like me. I'm not sure I'm doing Maybe I'm making it up. It's that they got to take that leap of faith. They do. And the star here is about wishing on a star. Manifestations, right? Manifesting a wish come true. I wished for you too. It's like not maybe knowingly that two of you guys wished for each other. But I feel like I've had this in the past where I go through really hard times. Or I meet shit men and I say, fuck, I really wish I could meet a guy that is blah, 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 blah. A guy that wouldn't treat me like this. A guy that would be fucking loyal. Somebody who has my back. Somebody who will tell me the honest truth. Somebody who will be my peace. I need a, my fucking rider, you know, I need a man that's going to have my back. Because for me, it's all about being my partner in crime, you know. I'm wild and I'm a rebellious aqua and so I need somebody that's going to calm me down. And at the same time, I also don't mind a feisty, rebellious motherfucker too. You see what I'm saying? Because we, we're going to vibe like that. But we're going to bring each other down where we need to be brought down. This is I wish for you, you wish for me. Uh, two people just... It's destined. Look at her. She's pouring onto him too. She just fills him. She fills his cup and no one's ever filled his cup. Oh, oh my heart. <laughs> See, if tarot don't go well, I could do acting, you guys. I know a lot of people watch that are in the entertainment world. I'm just kidding. Fuck. People get their panties and their BVDs up their asses anytime I dare talk about myself. Oh, you just talk about yourself. Bitch, it's called Saltwater Heels Tarot. That's my shit. People that grumble about the littlest things shows you where their vibration is at. All the ungrateful motherfuckers, the thumbs down motherfuckers. I, don't, I just feel so sorry because it's like, I, can you imagine being one of those people? Man. There we go, justice. So, uh, the star Aquarius, justice is Libra. You have water signs here. You had the chariot, Cancerian possibly. Justice is those karmic payouts that are coming. And not only that, it could be something is legally, it's a legal contractual binding together. These motherfuckers will get married. Because it's contractual. Or this is, if it's work, but see, when I do these readings, I'm not really channeling work. But if this is work with you and this person, for example, you and this person are supposed to do business together. Ooh, and then you fall in love. This is contractual. There's some type of contractual legal agreement. So business-wise with the two of you or work. I'm sorry, same fucking thing. I can't even think. Business, career, work, or love. <laughs> Meaning, marriage. I feel like they trust you too. If this is somebody who said they'll never get married or said I'll never get married again or I don't do whatever, they, they don't, it's because they don't trust people. These motherfuckers trust you though. I'm telling you, they do. They trust you. Why? Because you're the one. Why? Because you don't take their shit. This is how it's going to be when you guys are actually in the relationship, right? You're not going to take their shit. You don't care what they do, who they are, how much money. You can't buy me. You can't do this. You can't do that. And they love that about you. It's like you make them earn it. And they're not accustomed to earning it. Do you see what I mean? That's how come they have so much respect for you because you make them earn it. You make them court you. I can't wait to be courted. I can't. I mean, how long am I going to be courted? So five days? I mean, just mind your business. <laughs> if I fall in love with him in five days and we get engaged, mind your business. <laughs> the amount of time I'm going to be courted ain't, I'm not sure. Shit, you're ready. Oh my God. How long have we been saying this? Look, it's, it's, I'm going to read it from the book. 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 
You're fucking ready. I knew it. All your past experiences have led to this moment. You've studied and grown spiritually in many ways. There is nothing more to do. You're ready to move forward and to embrace the person you know in your heart you are meant to be. The world is anxiously awaiting the contributions that following your life purpose will, will provide. You may have to put yourself first in this situation. It's time to do what is right for you. So it's time for you to fall in love with the person. It's time for you to stop worrying about everybody else and to stop, to start living for yourself. I feel like whoever this is, you, the two of you guys may have a lot of obligations. I'm not saying they, that mean they got a lot of motherfucking kids either. Although I don't know. But I know what that sounds like. Sound like, oh great, you got a lot of obligations. You got 10 kids. Well, fuck, I don't know shit. But if the love of your life got 10 kids, well, you better buy a motherfucking Johnny K plus 8 cargo bag. If the love of your life ain't got no kids, then he got no kids. It, it, they're going to come how they come. <laughs> what if you're the one with the eight kids? You, would you want them to feel like that? No. It doesn't matter what they have, how many kids, no kids. It doesn't matter about those things. The connection is there, right? And this would only be high vibrational connections. This is not every Tom, Dick, and Mary that come crossing our path. They're the one, it's the counterpart. No, it's not them, it's the one. Everyone is the one. You know, there's, you know, I feel like we should be beyond that already. I can sniff it out already in just a few moments of whether someone's the one or not, really. I just can't. And all these motherfuckers coming in or coming back in, I'm going, no. They're not. There is not them. And it's like, I, I, I'll just know. And until then, we're going to be patient. Second on this orange cream sickle, but you know we could be second on their flute. Whatever. All right, you guys. Reminder: if you want to book a reading with me, click on the box below. Check my shit first before you email me, please. It helps cut down on the time. Stars born bracelets. First batch is going out this Monday, which is June third, I believe. I have put on my website the second batch of pre-orders. Those are going to go out the second week of this month. I, I think there's still a couple bracelets left, you know, for pre-order for the second batch for the Stars Born. Okay, but that one's not going to be mailed out on Monday. That one's going to be mailed out middle part of this month. All right, you guys. And then also I'm going to have my new evil eye bracelets coming out. I'd say in about a week and a half or two weeks or so, right, right around there. Keep a lookout for that. And that... Follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. All right, you guys. I'll see you guys again soon. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Love you.